It's the twos, guys. Oh, wait. How do we do this again? It is Tuesday, July the 20th, and baller? We're feeling the vibes, baby. We're feeling <laughs> the vibes. On this episode, we will be talking about our startup, twosapp.com, the vibe code rebuild that we are currently doing, and we will be hearing from the vibe coder himself, Two's Baller. First segment, we have bring a thing. And Baller, before we had started recording, you had mentioned to me that you had a thing written down specifically about vibe coding. So let's start there. What what thing did you bring? I brought a thing that I wrote down on Thursday, and it is my hot take on vibe coding. Vibe coding is the future. Mm. It has its issues, but it's early. That's that's so my thing. That's awesome. First and foremost, that definitely is a hot take. I was kind of expecting you to go the opposite direction. <laughs> Explain to us what vibe coding is. Vibe coding is a term coined by ex OpenAI wizard Andre Kaparthi, where you fully give in to the vibes, embrace exponentials, and forget that the code even exists. How it's going so far? Vibe coding is just using an LLM or an AI to help write code for you. So you're having a conversation with it, asking it to do things, telling it different things, and then it's using an AI agent to write all of the code and you can provide feedback and ask for changes and things. And it's going pretty well. We've been building the V4 of twos. We have a app in test flight and we're somewhat using it. So when it comes to Google Translate, you know, you write your words in English, and then it says, here's how you say them in Spanish. It's been like 10 years that we've had these tools available to us to translate languages. And it only works like 70% of the time. You know, sometimes it messes up the tensing. Sometimes it doesn't understand the full context. And so it's kind of frustrating. Like it's like you're, you're constantly finicking. And as someone who speaks Spanish, I'm able to decipher what makes sense and what doesn't make sense out of Google Translate. To me, that's very similar to vibe coding. Me speaking fluent Spanish is very valuable to picking through a Google Translate and picking what's good. You being a developer is very important to being able to like look at the code and be like, yep, this is good. I think that it is still very useful to know the fundamentals of programming while you are vibe coding because I think depending on the size of the project and like the functionality that you ask, if you don't have that sort of background, you probably can get stuck. So I still think that there is something to be said with having some programming knowledge. I just think that vibe coding will make you even more productive. I should try. I should try like just from sure. not, not twos necessarily, but just pick something yeah. with a, like a, a little bit of a degree of complexity and just see like how far I can get. In, Nino's, it, it genuinely... Nino's doing it. Nino's yeah. been developing things. He says yeah. that he's, he's loving it. So let's kick into probably something that is very important and on a lot of people's minds, why we are rebuilding twos. I think it's always to build the best place to write things down or to build the best place to write, remember, and share things. And that vision is to have millions, billions of people using and getting value from the product. The reason why we're rebuilding it currently, the current application V3 is in a not very good state in terms of the libraries that we've used. And it's actually blocking any updates to Android. <laughs> So it's rebuilding it using the latest technologies. We're using the latest React Native, the latest React versions. And then when you rebuild something, you get to rethink it. So it's really just to create the next best iteration of Tiz. To help people capture, remember, and share any important piece of their life. I'm walking on the street. I pass a restaurant I want to eat at. I write that down. I remember that I need to refill my Metro card. I make a to-do. I want to go and visit this city, this place, this discount. I write that down. Somebody introduces themselves to me. I write it down. Being able to find that information, being able to share that information, being able to get it off of my mind and into one fluid application is what we've always been looking to build, is what we find so much value out of twos in. But I really do think that the ultimate goal here is to simplify it down, write, remember, share. I think it was just that we hear from a lot of people that it's quite complicated or there's just a lot going on. I like the idea of Google where they just strip everything down to insert text into this box and search. 
the inspiration was people find it overwhelming. Let's give them as simple of an experience to do the thing that we enjoy doing the most, which is just like writing things down. A simplification of the UI and the UX, a refocusing on the three core pillars of the application, right? Remember, share. So let's do a quick tour of V4. Two's baller. This yeah. is obviously what you have been able to vibe code up until this point. Tell us what we're looking at right now. Tell us the views that are built. This is the capture screen. It's the initial place where you write things down. So this is obviously a very new view. Well, this, this is like our idea of make it as simple as Google. Um, you can change what list or day you're looking at, pick a destination that you want these things to go on. I can't do the microphone on the simulator. Simulator. Can, and then besides that, we just have the normal day today where you can go, you can swap in between days. We have the memories thing, which I added a little, I did some stuff for it. Oh, pretty we, cool. we have all the normal selecting, swiping, confetti, new list stuff, searching for different things for the side menu. We have it broken down into days listed things, which are the core concept of twos. So this will just show your days. And then we have things, which just shows and then all, the things. all of the things you write down. And then we have coins, just the foundation of our store and customization marketplace. Do you want to show people middle finger emoji confetti? Nice. <laughs> How does it make nice. sense? The main aspect behind twos that makes it so valuable and so unique is that we break each piece of information down into a thing. So when you hear us saying the word things, it's because that is what makes twos so fast. It's what makes the AI work. It's what each one of these little white tiles is. So Baller, tell us about the best things that you've experienced in the vibe code so far. Tell us about the worst things that you've experienced so far. I think it's phenomenal. What's really cool is that it's just a, basically a conversation. Hi, Jim. Hello. I am Harvey, a computer. Jim sucks. <laughs> the vibe naming convention, I believe, comes from the idea where you're just flowing with it and you're asking for different things. You're getting a feel for how the application's feeling and then you make changes based on that. And I really like that. I like the idea where if you have an idea, all you need to do is write it out with some words, ask the AI to do it, and it just starts ripping and running. Whereas yeah. before, if you had an idea, I mean, you're the guy, you need to do all the work, you need to change all the files, you need to do all the documentation reading. I'm blown away that what Vibe Code does, because I've watched it in action, and you know, I think now would be a good time to plug. We Vibe Code almost every weekday at around 9 to 9.30 a.m. EST. So if you're interested in watching, you know, how Vibe Code works, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video, but then also by by subscribing you should be able to see when we go live next but yeah i've seen i've watched the vibe code work and how you write a message and then it just spits out random characters letters and colors and it's pretty crazy to think that people used to have to do that individually we could also maybe talk a little bit about what people can expect in terms of a rollout. We are most likely going to give it out in test flight in a very small capacity. Once we can figure out like who is getting the test flight access, we will most likely create a wait list. And the reason that we're going to do that is because, you know, we want to make sure that it works to our expectations so that people don't feel like they're like fighting it to get it into their routine and into their habits, but rather they are excited to use it. Have you watched any good videos or read any good articles? Have you learned anything about how to improve your prompting of vibe coding? I have. I don't find myself actually using the stuff that I learn very often. The only book that I have read on the topic is the Rick Rubin book, mm. The Way of Code. I thought it was going to actually have to do with vibe coding and teach you some things about vibe coding. It is talking about vibe coding in this video very meta language similarly to a book called the Tao Te Ching which is like mm. Taoism old Chinese philosophy which he just based it on that book vibe but he's code. just transitioning that to how to vibe code it has nothing to do with coding okay so Rick Rubin I know Rick Rubin man he's the guy who is notorious for having said I just know that I'm good at listening to music do you play instruments? 
barely. Do you know how to work a soundboard? No. I have no technical ability. And I know nothing about music. <laughs> you must know something. Well, I know what I like and what I don't like. And I'm, I'm decisive about what I like and what I don't like. He, does, not, he so. doesn't know how to play any instruments, yet he's yeah. produced. Yeah. Beastie Boys, Run DMC, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Jagger, ACDC, Johnny Cash, Macy Gray, Daisy, Limp Bizkit, Slipknot, Weezer, YouTube, Linkin Park, Kanye, Metallica, Kid Rock, and Bill. We should play Bill. <laughs> that list of artists. It's is insane. Absolutely Travis insane. Scott, Lil Uzi Vert, so, so Wu-Tang that really Clan, so cool. Lady Gaga, Ed Sheeran. You had mentioned, I don't know what books or videos there are like on vibe coding. I know one video on vibe coding. It's called The Two's Guys Vibe Code Every Day, <laughs> 9, 9.30 a.m. EST on weekdays at twosup.com. A follow-up to that was going to be, hey, Baller, would you ever write a book about vibe coding? Probably not about vibe coding. I want to write a book, though. Today's top twos is top twos vibes. Gosh. Whatever you think of when you think of my top twos vibes. Rock, yep. paper, scissor, shoot. Okay. My number one vibe is when you are at a cabin or on a lake, you got a pontoon boat, you got some cheap domestic beers, and you got your five to 10 best guy friends hanging out. The weather is crisp. You, you know, can maybe get into a little bit of water activities. It's just a vibe. Hanging out with the fellas by a body of water. Number one vibe. It's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. Your number one vibe? My number one vibe. Hugging your mother. Wow. For me. Wow. Hugging my mom. Wow. I would also say like hugging my grandma. Like I love wow. giving my, that might even be higher because I feel like my grandma's potentially hug me a little bit better. Embracing the ones that you love. Yeah, that's a vibe. Good vibe. My number two vibe, super geeky. <laughs> but when you're struggling getting something to work, like coding wise, and then when you finally get it, that's a vibe. <laughs> similar similar feeling to hugging your grandma no i think it's very different when you're just hugging your grandma you like feel love and you feel support and warmth when you solve something or get something working it's like a feeling of accomplishment walking down the street with airpods in <laughs> listening to music what happens to me is i pop these bad boys in i turn on noise canceling and i play a couple of you know just kind of vibey songs and i just start moving with the groove and i don't even like care who's looking at me people see me like mouthing the words like looking at them like john travolta in that capital one commercial making moves <laughs> I don't care. I'm in my own vibe. <laughs> I'm just vibing. You're vibing. Let's do a quick community shout out. We would like to say thank you very, very much to everybody who has been supporting our endeavors with the rebuild. First and foremost, Nino de Goat. He is always there, always consistent, always helpful, always a delight. He really, really, really is one of my favorite people in the world just because of how he carries himself. Shout out Nino de Goat. Quick shout out to Renee and Dave who are also there for our vibe codes very often. Daniel Ramirez. So if you would like to join our community of people who like to vibe, not only would we love to see you on a live stream weekdays, 9 to 9.30 at Tuesday. But also you can join our Discord. Link in the description. Please like, comment, share this video with anyone who's interested in learning more about vibe coding. We're going to keep on vibing until we have the best place for people to write, remember, and share their little lives. We appreciate everyone who has been a part of the journey. Thank you, Tuesday Baller, for obviously all of the hard work that you do. And until next time, Tuesday out. I love you.